Welcome back to the X. You know, kids are home for the summer, right? So instead of those high sugar snacks, why not give them something a little more healthy and delicious to munch on, right? Well, Jane Jones, author of the cookbook of Healthy Living and No Regrets, joining us live now to give us some options. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning. Good to see you. So glad to talk with you here. First of all, we've got your cookbook here. You've got a lot of good recipes for folks to check out that are supposed to be delicious and healthy, which things can be both. Talk about what inspired you to want to do this. Yeah, I ended up in the emergency room. I had no idea. I was very sick. It happened to be my birthday. Fought it tooth and nail. I'm embarrassed to tell you my blood pressure was like 289 over 189. My glucose level was over 600. You want to be batting about 100. They diagnosed me as severely diabetic. No one ever mentioned the D word to me before. Lost my eyesight for about three weeks. But here's the good news. Six months later, sugar-free, insulin-free, medicine-free, 60 pounds lighter. And that vision we just talked about is back to 2020. So wow. I started baking without sugar. So every recipe I make in that cookbook you're showing off right now is completely sugar-free. Okay. Uh, it, it, it's amazing, your story, first of all, and that now you're using what you've learned to kind of educate others and be able to share what you've, you've brought on. So give us some of your best recipes. What can you show us that, you've, that you would recommend no, for the some, kiddos? Yeah, here's what we're talking about this week on the blog, NoSugarBaker.com. You know, I never really actually thought about type 1 diabetes with kids. Over 200,000 kids are diagnosed every single year with juvenile diabetes. Once I started the blog, you know what I heard from? Summer camps for type 1 kids with juvenile diabetes. They said, hey, look, we love your cookbook. We want to have some treats for the kids. Can you make stuff? And I said, oh, my gosh, let's dedicate a whole week to it. So here's what we're doing today. We're doing the No Sugar Baker Blueberry Lemon Strawberry Popsicle. And let me tell you, it sort of tastes like ice cream meets a popsicle. It's oh. so great and it's so easy. Your kids can do it with you. So grab your blender, mm -hmm. grab those kids, one cup of fresh strawberry sliced. Berries are a great natural source of right. sugar because yeah. they're very low in sugar. Also a cup of fresh blueberries. I love the red and the blue together. And then here's the secret ingredient. You want to use about uh, one fourth of a cup of unsweetened coconut cream. It brings that creaminess oh. to it and you can find it at your regular grocery store. It's not hard to find at all. And then you're going to use one fourth of a cup of water, one fourth of a cup of lemon juice. Okay. And then here's something else I have had to learn. This is an all natural sweetener. It's their, it's their version of a confection powder sugar. It also doesn't give like a grittiness to it. So it's, I use Swerve. It's the brand I love. I found it at the Swerve, grocery store yes. by the whim of God. Go ahead and put that in too. I and love Swerve. I use Swerve. That's a good, it's absolutely a great yeah. substitute. Mm -hmm. It's an all natural sweetener. Yeah. I literally, I, found, I say by the luck of God. Make sure kids, you put the, the top and the blender back up. You blend it all together, and then look at this awesome treat. I found this for a dollar okay. at the dollar store. So you go ahead, fill them up. Put the tops back on, put it in your freezer overnight, and then this is what you get. And let me tell you, you guys, it does taste like ice cream meets a popsicle. Now, that's not all we got. We also have right here in front of me, can you see it? It's yeah. the No Sugar Baker Chunky Monkey Ice Cream Sandwich. You can't have bananas because bananas are high in um, natural sugar. Right. But I figured out a way to get the banana flavoring. So it's a chunky monkey chocolate chip ice cream sandwich. And then for the school bunches, I know kids, I used to be young. I hate to break it to you. School vacation, summer vacation is almost over. It's true. So we figured out a way to do a no sugar baker mini blueberry muffin, which is good for the school wow. bus, good for your lunch box. All this week on the blog. And you know what? Even if you're not type 1 diabetic, you might type 2 diabetic. This is good for heart disease. Mm -hmm. Folks that have just want to be healthy in general. Mm -hmm. Good for every kid. And you know what? I keep saying that it's so awesome to have different varieties at part pool parties you're having because every child out there has different diabetic needs these days. So you know what? Make that party great for everybody. Yeah, I think this is such a great option. First of all, all the dessert there looks amazing. It looks easy to make. And we're going to put all the details about your cookbook and your recipes on our website at fox19.com because I'm flipping through it, Jane. No sugar baker, <laughs> cinnamon chocolate chip bread. I'm in it. The strawberry rhubarb jam, I'm in that as well. I'm going to have to check this out. You know what my favorite is? Yeah. The no sugar baker pumpkin bar. So it's like literally like a pumpkin bar with a cream cheese frosting. And yeah. let me tell you, it will knock your socks off. It is like the best. Right, I'm looking for that one in the book. That's next. Jane, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh, it. my pleasure. Go All to right. nosugarbaker.com. See ya. Perfect. We're going to put the details on our website, fox19.com. We need to find that one she just mentioned. I'll be right back on the X. <laughs> By the way, we're also doing birthdays. Go to